Hey guys, what's going on? It's P Gambo, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you quickly here how to retrofit a lid that does not have wireless charging with one that does. And uh, this lid here on the right is the lid that I've had in my truck installed, and I ended up getting this newer lid here. And one of the main reasons being is uh, the stitching on the original lid is a single white stitching, and the stitching on the new one I found is a double white stitching. And so the double white stitching leather um, lid here will match the seats that I recently installed onto my truck. So I couldn't find a double white stitching with the wireless charging already on it. So I found this one, it was brand new. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy swapped out over to this one. Looking at the actual dimensions, they look identical. So we're gonna get this uh, swapped out. Um, I went ahead and popped the lid off of this one or the inner lid or cover I should say and it looks like we've got all of the mounting points that um, the one with the wireless charging lid uh, comes with so when I picked this guy up uh, on the part number here it did say uh, you can't really see there it's covered up but it does say delete power mat so I'm guessing that on later model trucks or SUVs where this came off of is they included all the hardware or the mounting studs uh, for the wireless charging module, but on this one they took it off. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy swapped over. So I'm gonna get this guy opened up. We're gonna take a look and just make sure, and we're gonna just transfer everything over. So now that I've got both of the covers taken off, you can see here the charging module on my original lid. Um, the casing is white as opposed to the black. And so uh, it looks like the mounting bolts, these two here, this one here, these two in the back are the same. And it looks like where the actual module uh, lands is gonna be right on top of this guy. So we're gonna get it swapped over. Uh, I'm hoping this is gonna be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So I've got everything swapped over. And just like I imagined, everything swapped over just fine. Pretty straightforward. All right guys, so I've got the new lid installed and as expected, it was a perfect fit. Uh, all the components transferred over as expected. Really happy about this one. Um, as you can see here, I've got the double white stitching, which matches and complements my uh, seats here that are also double uh, white stitched. I got these seats off of a 2017 Sierra Denali. These are heated and ventilated seats. So when I came across the double white stitching, I had to get the lid and uh, was on the hunt for a lid where I can um, retrofit the wireless charging module into it. Uh, I couldn't find any lids that came with the wireless charging module, so when I found this one, I uh, wanted to show a video that um, the actual build is the same. And so, one thing I forgot to uh, mention, the actual leather finish on this uh, new lid is different. It's, a, it's actually a smoother finish as opposed to this textured finish on the uh, previous lid. And so the previous lid is going to match the dashboard. So if you look at the dash, I've got a leather dash on here that I put in as well from that same 2017 Denali. And so it's got that textured finish. And what I like about the, um, the new lid is that the seats itself, if you can see here, it's got that smooth finish. So it actually complements the seats really Really nicely so really happy with they with the way this turned out guys and so uh, again if you have any questions let me know leave them in the comments uh, again this is P Gamboa until next time we'll see you later